Today's toy spot is on the NECA Terminator figures. Today we're having a look at the human resistance soldier, Kyle Reese. Indicated on the side of the package, in the year of darkness 2029, the rulers of this planet devised the ultimate plan. They would reshape the past. The plan required something that felt no pity, no pain, no fear. Something unstoppable they created, period, 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 the Terminator. It looks like Kyle Reese gets himself the sawed-off handled shotgun roped to his hobo clothes as well as he also comes with the picture of Sarah Connor. If he comes with anything else I don't see it but I'm sure we will find out sooner or later. Also indicating at the top corner the spot I'd like to draw your attention to is the poster of the Terminator. Awesome. Simply awesome. Flipped on the back of the package there's a picture of Kyle Reese the figure. Other figures you can pick up are the tanker truck pursuit as well as the endoskeleton and it seems like endoskeleton is just a fill-in figure that they seem to put in with every line. There always seems to be an endoskeleton of some sorts. That's fine. We always can use more endoskeletons. Target identified. Specs, Kyle Reese, human resistance soldier, sent back through time by his future son, Kyle Reese must protect the life of Sarah Connor from the T-800. Arriving in 1984 Los Angeles, Kyle is unarmed and unaware of what awaits. Upon locating Sarah and saving her from the Terminator's attack at the Tech Noir Club, Kyle confides in Sarah, informing her of the impending doom of humanity and of her role in our survival. That is one amazing pickup line to use on a girl that you've just met. Human resistance, I have to you it's all up to you. Nice to meet you. My name is Kyle. What I am going to do is take a break, going to get this opened up, and when we come back, we're going to get a better look at Kyle Reese from Terminator. Stay tuned. Before we actually have a look at Kyle Reese, who's actually laying down, there's a reason for it. Let's have a look at the smallest accessory that comes with Kyle Reese, and that would be a photo, photo of Sarah Connor, which the camera is having a tough time picking up, but there it is right there. Taken from the very end of the movie, and I don't think Spot's saying that with the intent of spoiling it for any, anybody, because I'm sure Everybody has seen Terminator. There's Sarah Connor there. Oops. <laughs> it is so incredibly small, though. It is actually just a piece of cardboard. That's all it is, just a piece of cardboard. Um, one of those accessories, really neat that they included it. But let's, as we do in Terminator fashion, let's skip ahead a few years. It's going to be interesting to see how many collectors actually still have this 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 uh, photograph of Sarah Connor. This is guaranteed going to be lost. This very well may be lost the moment I finish this review. Not possible. You don't give Spot nearly enough credit. Moving that aside, let's pick up Kyle Reese, who unfortunately has a really tough time standing. It could likely stem from the fact that he's just on this set, and this set's a fabric, so it's not it's not a complete solid footing for a figure to stand on, but I find Kyle Reese really has a tough time standing just in general. Could likely stem from his pose. I don't know, maybe we'll just have to do some finagling. Let's have a look at Kyle's face. It's a nice face. I would say it does look like Kyle Reese, now, some would argue, of course, the face, the expression that they used on Kyle, not maybe the best. Sometimes, I'm sure when sculpting a figure, they probably take key scenes from the, from the movie or the series that they're, they're depicting the sculpt from, and they sculpt from that scene. Now, I'm looking at the back of the package and indicating that it was, they mentioned the tech noir. I'm wondering if this scene, if the scene of Kyle Reese shooting at the T-800 with his shotgun, I'm wondering if that the sculpt was depicted from that scene. 
as when Kyle Reese is laying into the T-800 with his shotgun blast, he does have a an interesting look on his face. Like he's almost got to take a crap. It may be possible that when they sculpted this figure, they sculpted it with that key scene in mind, and then that's why they gave him that face. It may not 100% look like um, the actor. However, I still think it's pretty good. I would have almost have preferred if it was just a regular faced Kyle with just his mouth closed. But due to the fact that this character is running for the majority of the movie and being chased by something, let's let's give him a little bit of luxury as it, as it were. But I like the face. I think the tone, the skin tone is done well. The hair is also done well, and there's a little bit of paint, I guess, right there that is not completely clean on the hair. But I think the hair is done really well, especially on the back. I think, to think that somebody has actually gone in and sculpted all those individual uh, strands of hair, or just really the areas around the hair was sculpted. But I think done well. Done well. Kyle Reese is wearing his hobo clothes, uh, complete with t-shirt. He's got his trench coat, and my favorite accessory, or one of my favorite accessories, he's got the paint splattered pants, and then he has the shoes. Which I think he steals from the department store, does he not? He finds the right size. You're going to steal shoes, at least steal comfortable shoes. Um, the other accessory that he does come included with is actually attached to his jacket. On the inside of his jacket, there's actually a cord. And that cord is tied off to his sawed-off handled shotgun that he uses pretty much in the majority of the opener of the the majority of the opener that he uses in most of the opener of the the movie. Pretty much right up to the point of the tech noir that he's using this. I always asked myself if they can't bring over anything that's non-organic, and that's that therefore why the Terminators have to use artificial skin. Of course, it's also to blend in, but. It makes you wonder why they just didn't give him a whole bunch of futuristic weapons covered in skin. Eh? Makes you wonder, doesn't it? They could just say, here Kyle, here's a laser cannon we're going to give to you. Oh, don't worry, we've wrapped it in skin. We've just wrapped it in like a human leg mold. You just have to melt it off when you get through to the other side. Hey, thanks guys. And then be on his way. <laughs> As for his, his um, shotgun, let's just zoom into that, shall we? It actually looks like it is a real rope. I thought initially it would be plastic, but luckily there's enough give to it that it's not just going to break off. The shotgun is sculpted nicely. Even on the end there. He can obviously hold the shotgun, that's not a problem there. I guess it's just a matter of which hand you want to put the shotgun into. You could probably just put it into his right hand or depending on which, which way you're looking at it, left or right, depending on the screen. Um, but we can get the shotgun into his hand. His hand, are, his hand is sculpted in such a fashion that... Eh, get the hand actually in there. You know what? Let's try the other hand. This hand actually has a little more of a pointed finger. This one does not. So let's try that other hand, shall we? Get into his hand. There's not a considerable amount of give either, I've noticed, in the hands either. So you have to do a little finessing to get the handle in there. And you'll just get something like that with his, actually with his finger, his trigger finger, actually on the trigger of the shotgun. And that's a really nice touch. It takes a little, again, finessing to get it in there. But then again, once it's in there, I'm not inclined to have it actually taken out. It works with Kyle having it on, on the shelf with his gun. Um, and then, of course, looking at other features, I think his trench coat is done really well, as well as his shirt. Both have this really neat wrinkled effect, which I think is a nice touch. The one thing I'm not a big fan of, if you peel the jacket back ever so slightly, you'll see that his shirt... His shirt looks like it can be removed. Now, I thought to myself, hey, wait a minute. I wonder if you could remove the shirt completely 
and have a flesh-colored shirtless Kyle Reese. Um, unfortunately though, it doesn't look like it's a fully finished torso. In fact, it still looks like it's unfinished. They probably thought to themselves, well, if we're going to be using a, a jacket over top of the shirt, we don't need necessarily to finish off the shirt completely. My cat also agrees in the background. Um, but I'm, I'm really surprised. It's one of the few times I've actually seen an incomplete uh, torso piece on a figure. Moving that out of the way, I mean, the jacket as a whole is done really neat. And I like the coloring. The color is accurate to the, the movie. And he's got his paint going on there. Yeah, overall, it's just a really neat figure. Face-wise, eh, it's, again, questionable. But it's, it's still, you can look at it and still know it's Kyle Reese. And I would say that that's really a, a nice... Uh, sculpt for that, uh, you know, that level of, of detail. I think it's done, it's done well, it's just facially the expression on could have been better. I think that's the best way to describe it. In the way of Kyle Reese's articulation, well he does have a ball jointed head. He does have an actual, it looks like a ball jointed swivel in the waist. He's got pin socket shoulders which allow the arms to rotate back and forth. He has a bend in the elbow, which will allow the arms to rotate all the way around also. He has a rotation in the wrists, and uh, unfortunately he has nothing in the legs. His legs uh, are very common with some of the older McFarlane toys, NECA toys. Um, the legs here, probably if this had been a later release figure, might have had joints in the actual knee area. And then as for his feet, it looks like his feet are just on swivels. That's it. Now, I'm just going to see here if you can actually get the handle of the gun to fit like so. There we go. That's probably how I'm going to have him pose. Just having him holding his shotgun, laying into the T-800. It's really a shame. It wasn't a place to actually hold the uh, picture. Had they given him a I know it had to be accurate to the movie, but even if they had put a pocket, an actual pocket that had a little slit in it that you could actually have put the picture into, is Spot asking for a lot? It's, it's quite possible. But I would have liked if they had had a section for the picture. This will guarantee be, be lost, which is a real shame. But uh, aside from that, I'm really happy with Kyle Reese. As Spot had already mentioned a couple of times, it's not the best face. But it gets, it still gets the point across. I can look at it, and while it may not look exactly like Kyle Reese, I can look at it and I get the gist. But still, on a sculpt level, overall figure-wise, I'm going to give Kyle Reese here a 7. I feel like he could have been better, but he is still a really solid figure. Today's Toy Spot, we're having a look at the NECA Terminator figures. And we're looking today at Kyle Reese. Thanks for watching, guys. See you next time.